Time right now, just before 445. Happy Sunday afternoon. Storm Team Meteorologist Griffin Hardy. Quick weather update for you guys. It is hot. It is muggy. Still out there, but not quite everywhere. Of course, we still have rain cooled air outside in some parts of our viewing area, namely Tuscaloosa sitting at 75, while the rest of us sit in the lower 90s. And when you factor in the humidity, it feels much hotter out there where it hasn't rained. Feels like 99 degrees in Birmingham right now, 100 the heat index in Gadsden, but you can definitely make out where that rain cooled air is over towards Fayette and Tuscaloosa. And that is where earlier this afternoon we had a severe thunderstorm watch in effect. It's been trimmed away for most of our western counties, still technically in effect for uh, Green and Hale counties, but the severe weather threat I think has pretty much subsided for today now that we're kind of losing daytime heating and the storms are pushing down to the south. Still seeing some pop up showers develop though in parts of Bibb County and Shelby County along an outflow boundary. Based Basically, the rain cooled air from those earlier storms is kind of migrating out to the east and generating more storms that can often happen in the summertime. So be on the lookout for that for the rest of the early evening hours. Another little tiny shower out there just west of 65 west of Blunt County and west of Hayden there. Uh, very isolated spotty showers, but uh, thankfully the rainfall is kind of coming to a close later this week because over the past week it has just been oh continuous rainfall. Throughout much of West Alabama, the radar estimates put it at around anywhere from eight to nine inches in some spots of our viewing area, mostly in Pickens County that they picked up the most rain over the past week. And again, these rainfall totals will definitely be on the lower end of things for this upcoming week. Many spots will probably won't see much rain at all uh, for Tuesday through Friday. For right now, though, those storms nose diving down to the Gulf Coast again, mostly thanks to the upper air pattern. Winds over Alabama higher up in the atmosphere are coming due north, and that's what's uh, pushing these storms down to the south and that upper level ridge over the west coast the Rocky Mountains is going to stay parked there for most of the week so that will eventually put some drier air down in our neck of the woods that'll mean the rain chances will be dropping even though we'll be still feeling like 100 degrees tomorrow and we're also going to be talking about the tropics ahead in your full seven day forecast that's coming up at 5 30 and 10 o'clock on the CBS 42 news be sure to tune in have a great night everybody